Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Air Reviews back with another video and iOS 17.6 is finally out. It is a really important update even though it doesn't have a ton of features and changes, but it's most likely the last big update to iOS 17 before we move on to the new iOS 18. So in today's video, I will share with you guys 12 different settings that I believe every iOS 17.6 user must check and configure the right way on their iPhone. And even if you're on, on iOS 17.5 or an older version, or you have moved to the beta of iOS 18, make sure that you take the time to check these settings and make sure that you have configured them the right way. Now, first of all, we're talking about battery. Head on to the battery section and then go to charging. Once you go to charging, you will find a few options here, but the one we're talking about here is clean energy charging. Here's what it does. It basically will reduce, you try to reduce your carbon footprint by charging your iPhone only when lower carbon emissions are available. Well, basically what this does is that it will slow down the charging of your iPhone. So you might want to turn this off completely or any time that you actually need to charge your iPhone faster and you want to make sure that you're doing it the fastest way possible, make sure that you turn off this setting. Next up, we're moving to the seller settings. Now under seller settings, you will have a few different options, but go to your seller settings and then go to voice and data and here you will find a ton of different options from 5G auto down to 2G. Now you need to make sure that you know what you're doing here because this will cause huge battery drains on your iPhone. Now, first of all, if you're on a region where you know you have good 5G coverage, then make sure to turn on 5G, of course, if you want to use that. But if you don't have really good coverage of 5G on your region or your city or wherever you live, then make sure you just choose LTE because having 5G auto or having 5G on all the time will always make your device try to connect to 5G that way just draining the battery out of your iPhone. So make sure that you don't select 5G if you know that the coverage is really poor on your area or you don't have good coverage make sure you just select LTE or 4G, whichever one you have. Moving on under the general settings, head on to AirPlay and continuity, and we have here automatically AirPlay. I would just switch this to never. This will just try to automatically AirPlay all the time, scan for devices all the time, and you know, you know that every feature that requires your iPhone being active in the background does consume a ton of battery. So make sure you have that turned off. Now the same goes for name drop. So under the general settings, you will have AirDrop here and you will have this setting right here, bringing devices together. You know that when Apple introduced this feature, it looked really cool, but I'm very sure that most of you guys don't actually use this feature. Probably the last time you used it is when you installed iOS 17 on your device, you got this update and you wanted to try it out, but most of the time you won't be using it at all. Again, this is one of those features that will be scanning in the background, always trying to connect, trying to share, so make sure you have it turned off. Moving on under the iCloud settings and here we have a really important setting. I think this is important and it's also very useful. It is called access iCloud data on the web. By enabling this, you will have the ability to have access to your mail, to your contacts, photos, notes, reminders, your files, your documents, anything that you have on your iCloud that you can have access to from your phone, you will have access from the web as well. Of course, you go to Apple, to iCloud.com actually sign in with your Apple ID and you will have all your data there. Now one of the most important things on your iPhone is of course notifications. Notifications will drain the battery out of your iPhone. This is one of the worst things that you can do to your phone, keeping notifications on for a ton of apps. Just go to your apps here, take a look at the apps, make sure that you actually turn off notifications or the apps that you don't need to have notifications from because they will just light up the screen of your iPhone, push notifications. That of course does drain the battery a lot. 
Now one of the things that also will have an impact on the battery of your iPhone as well as the performance of your iPhone, especially if you're installing iOS 17.6, on an older device is screen time. So go to screen time and make sure that you actually use it only if you need it. If you don't need it, make sure to have it turned off. You can go ahead and turn it off from here. Of course, you will have everything here like the communication limits, you will have your apps and website activities, screen distance right here. I turn this off all the time because this does work a lot. It requires a lot of CPU power and battery as well. So if you don't actually care about it, don't leave it turned on. And of course, it is always good that you turn off most of the things on your privacy and security section. Go here and things like your contacts, your files, things like your right here your media then of course your bluetooth your camera your network these are things where apps can have access like right here if i go to my microphone all these apps can actually hear the microphone of my device make sure to go ahead and check all these things one by one and turn off most of the apps that you don't actually need now the same goes for location services. Not a lot of apps actually do need to have access to your location services. If you're using maps or any like sort of those apps, maybe yes, but the other apps I don't think should be able to have your location. Like if you go to one of these apps, you can switch to never or ask when they try to share. So every time they try to have access to your location they will actually have to ask you and for most of the apps of course despite the navigation app the maps app what i should do what i think you should do is actually turn off precise location so even though these apps might have your location they won't have your exact location and for the last three settings, we're moving under the accessibility settings. We have a few settings here that are pretty cool. Some of them will just drain the battery out of your iPhone because you'll probably never use them. And we're going under touch here and then we have back tap. Now, if you go to back tap, you will have double tap and triple tap. If you have set them up anytime just to try them or just do something with them you probably have left them like this and didn't choose none right here which will actually disable this feature then you will have that feature enabled all the time probably will a lot of times invoke an action that you have selected there without intending to so make sure to turn that off as well Another one that I always turn off is sound recognition. Now, sound recognition will download files into your device and will require space there. And it will always be listening in the background for those sounds. And a lot of times maybe even give you fake alerts. So if you don't actually need and use this feature, make sure that this feature is also turned off on your device. And for the last one, we're going under the Siri settings. And a Siri is also something that does require a ton of CPU power and battery. And one of the things that does consume a ton of battery is this feature right here. Always listen for the word. I'm not going to say it, but I think you should turn this off as well. Now, what this is doing is basically it's listening for that word all the time, even though your iPhone might be facing down or it's in your pocket, it will always stay ready for that word. And every time it hears it, it will just turn on Siri on your device. So if you don't really, really need this feature, I suggest that you actually turn it off. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next one.